Hi, um, thank you so much guys for coming over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce myself. Um, pretty cool that we're all international students. My name is Adriana Cisneros Emerson. I'm from Venezuela and I'm majoring in Integrated Media Management. So Serena, why don't you go ahead and introduce yeah. yourself? Uh, my name is Serena Ballard. Um, I'm also an international student from um, Zambia. I'm a senior mechanical engineering student. Very nice. What about you, Brooke? Uh, my name is Brooke Mulatu. I am a junior computer science student and I'm from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. And I'm Lucas Zimmerman. I'm from Bolivia, South America, and I'm also a mechanical engineering student, graduating senior. Very nice. So we're all from different places. I would like to hear a little bit more just about how you guys ended up at Laterno University out of all places. Serena. Sure. Um, so Laterno has a lot of connections like in different countries. Um, and so they have a connection with a university in Zambia. Um, and through that university, um, I heard about Laterno. I'd never heard about Laterno before. Okay. <laughs> it's just like a few months before I came here. Um, and yeah, that's that's essentially how I heard about Laterno. I heard lots of good things about Laterno. Um, I'd never, I never visited the place before I came here, um, okay. so I just trusted them and showed up. <laughs> I'm glad you did. Yeah. What about you, Brooke? Um, so I wanted to study computer science in the U.S. and I wanted it to go to a Christian school, but there aren't that many options of good Christian schools with computer science. But someone recommended Laterno to us. Um, my dad took a tour of the school on a business trip, and he liked it. And here I am now. So Sweet. That's cool. Okay. You, Lucas? So mine's kind of similar to Brooke. Um, I went to American International School in Bolivia, mm. and I was looking for engineering. There was also Christian here in the States, and my little school had connections with three universities in America, and one of those was Laterno, and they happen to have engineering. Mm. So here I am. <laughs> okay. So you both, um, Serena and Lucas, you both are RAs in your PA. Would yes. you mind um, sort of explaining to um, the community at Laterno what being um, a PA means? Yeah, so a PA is basically a student leader that helps freshmen adjust to college life. Mm -hmm. So let's say a certain year there's a certain group of freshmen and they're designated to a PA or a peer advisor and we're like the big sibling to them in adjusting to what college life is, especially here at Laterno. So a PA could be either for American students or it could be for international students. So it's just basically helping them grow up a little bit and kind of I, I wouldn't say holding their hand but just helping them adjust okay. to what it is like to be independent mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and Lucas why don't you tell me elaborate some more about when it comes to what an RA is what you guys do for your floor yeah so we foster community um, within the floor settings so the PAs reach out to a, a large variety of people we mm -hmm. focus on the people living in our building Mm -hmm. um, and for iHouse especially, we have a huge mix of international students and some American students. So we're trying to tie these cultures together mm -hmm. in a place where people can feel at home. Very mm -hmm. nice. And you, Serena, um, how would you mm -hmm. say that your time as an, as an RA has impacted, has had an influence on what your Laterno experience has been? I would say it's been very influential, um, mm -hmm. just in leading very different kinds of people. As Lucas said, we don't only have international students, we also have American students. Um, we have missionary kids, we have um, third culture kids. Um, and so just listening to different perspectives, being there for people in different situations has really taught me a lot about how to talk to people, um, taught me a lot of interpersonal skills and also just how to lead different kinds of people. Very nice. Um, yeah. What about you, Lucas? Would you have anything that you would want to say about that? How has your time just uh, being an RA has had, how has it had an influence and impact on your time at Laterno University? Well, leading people makes, makes you grow up a lot because mm -hmm. um, people have different expectations of you and different challenges they bring to you. Um, but it's really cool because in iHouse we have a, a strong community of people who care for each other. Okay. So even though I'm the leader, a lot of people help me out when I'm going through something too. Um, so I feel like Again, it's a community where we look out for each other. It's not just the leader looking out for everybody else. Mm. Okay. And Brooke, how did you decide to become a PA? Oh, that's a great question. So Lucas was actually my PA the mm. first time I came okay. to school, and that was pretty cool. I think it can be really hard to adjust to a different school or a different setting. But for international students, I think it's even harder because you also have to adjust to a different culture as well, completely different like system of how everything works. So I kind of wanted to be that guy that helps people transition between different mm -hmm. cultures because it can be really difficult on, on international students. And sometimes they just 
don't tell anyone about it. So I just want it to be someone they can talk to and someone who's been through it so they can see that there's you can get through it. It's not impossible to get through, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Okay. And, I mean, of course, you guys know a lot of people, like you guys said, both international and American students. I'm assuming mm. you guys have, have some fun stories that maybe you could share with us today. Hmm. <laughs> 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 um, I don't know if this is really a fun story, but I was a PA for American students my first year. Okay. And I'll say that their problems are very similar, but very different as far as, like, how you deal with them. Mm -hmm. Like... American students are used to the culture and used to the people, but maybe they're not as used to just living with a bunch of guys on the floor or just having to do stuff on their own or do laundry on their own or stuff like that. Whereas international students, it would be more of, I don't think anyone understands me. They don't speak my language. Mm -hmm. They don't eat the food I eat, stuff like that. So I think a great challenge, but also something I really enjoyed uh, being a PA is you relate to people from completely different parts of life and that helps you grow and relate to people that you never would have before. So I think this PA job is giving me a great opportunity to kind of see people from different mm -hmm. parts of the world and still be able to relate to them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Sure. What about you, Serena? Um, kind of going off of what Brooke was saying, I was also a PA for American students last year, <laughs> and it was a very interesting experience um, leading people who I felt were like way more prepared than I was <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> in some stages of life. Um, in a way, I felt like, oh, my gosh, like these guys know way better than I did at that point. And I felt very vulnerable, like leading them. Um, and it was a very good learning experience and to um, just identifying like what kind of needs um, American students have as opposed to international students. Of course. Um, and just realizing that, oh, like as international students, we really we really need people <laughs> to cater to different things. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. absolutely, we do. And, and that was just an eye opener to me. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Lucas, I'm curious, um, what would you say is your favorite part about um, just sort of your floor and its culture? Oh, <laughs> that's a hard one. So we have a lot of different traditions in iHouse, and mm -hmm. a lot of that is just hanging out together and telling stories. Okay. Like we have one like monthly event that we all come together late at night, and we have snacks and games, and then we just kind of like tell, each one kind of tells their story, where they came from, um, th mm -hmm. things about like how they grew up, um, but honestly, my favorite, favorite part about iHouse is when we have events that involve food. Because we all <laughs> get together, we love to eat, we all get together, and we make, you know, food from 15 different countries. Oh, yeah. Mm. And then... We did have Go yeah. Week just a bit ago, and that was pretty neat. Right, so. just like that. Yes. It was awesome. Yeah. Yes. What about you, Serena? What's your favorite part about your My floor? favorite part has been um, very similar to what mm. Lucas is saying. Um, a lot of it centers around food. But then also this semester, just like having conversations late at night uh, where we all just get together in the lounge and we do like a face mask together. <laughs> we have spawn, like we just have impromptu spa nights. Very nice. Maybe I could come over one time. Yes, yes. <laughs> you should. You should. <laughs> okay. Um, but that's cultivated a lot of just time of relaxing together and just um, just like debriefing about how our semester is going. And, Very nice. Um, and, you know, being there for each other. Okay, so now yeah. let's uh, move on and talk a bit about the not so pretty stuff. What are some of the challenges that you have faced mm -hmm. while fulfilling um, that role? Lucas, which one to start? Yeah, I'll go ahead. <laughs> um, I kind of touched on it earlier, but coming people coming from different cultures, especially, mm -hmm. they come in and they're like, why do you guys do what you do? Um, because something's culturally just so different. Mm -hmm. And so trying to explain that and be gentle about, oh, so this is just something that's common here, and we might not... We might say something and it's no intent to offend, um, mm. but it's just a lot of getting used to different perspectives, really. What about you, Brooke? I would say, I don't know, there's, there's this part of me as being a leader is that you always want to look perfect in front of the people you're leading. So you don't want to look like you have any problems or anything going on. So you could always be like, oh, yeah, Brooke has everything together. <laughs> but the thing is, when you present yourself that way, I think the people you're leading don't relate to you as well. Mm. So sometimes I have to show them that I struggle, too. And that, that, you know, it humbles you for sure. But it definitely helps the people you lead realize that not everyone has everything together and mm -hmm. everyone needs help. So I think being able to just admit your mistakes and where you struggle to people you lead can be really hard but i think it's really rewarding for sure absolutely and you serena um let's see <laughs> uh so i guess very very similar again mm -hmm. um in terms of just 
leading international students, um, there's there's been some times where they have some cultural aspects that are very or perspectives that are very different to what's normal here. Mm -hmm. um, and I've had a few hard conversations with them too, and they get offended. And then it's really hard to get out of that and have a good relationship with them. Mm -hmm. So that's probably been my biggest challenge of how, how to navigate that, but how to also lovingly explain to them like, oh, this is not okay here. And mm -hmm. this is what we can do better. Right, yeah. Um, so um, kind of wrapping it up now, mm -hmm. I have one final question for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to graduate, I know you're a senior, um, you're going to graduate soon. So for all of you, once you leave Laterna University, what do you think is what you will remember the most? You can start, Brooke. Okay, I guess that would be fun. <laughs> um, I think it's definitely just how much people care about you. Like when you go, I've heard stories of people that go to much bigger schools or, or more secular schools. And I tell them I get to go to my professor's house and just like eat with him on like a Friday night. And they're like, what? What, what are you talking about? I don't think my professor even knows who I am. Yeah. Or like, you can, I could go to Lucas's room at like, I don't know, 2, 3 a.m. We could just talk. And that's a very normal thing to happen. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's like people really genuinely care about each other. And it's not just about academics here. And I think a lot of schools struggle in that. But Laterno is definitely, definitely, that's something I'll definitely remember from Laterno. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. I mean, probably my favorite thing about being here is the connection that the connections that I've made mm. yeah. with both international and American students, but also faculty and stuff. It's it's something really unique about mm. this university that I don't think just anyone out there could find in any other university. Definitely. So yeah. what about you, Lucas? For me, it's the relationships I built here. I came into college, you know, I was like, oh, I have a great time, but I'm only here. I'm only here for four years. So I'm not going to get close to people. Mm. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> I've, gotten the, I've gotten really close to some of my residents, some of my friends. Mm -hmm. And those relationships, the, you know, the late night talks, the random going out to get food, yeah. those things. Yeah. I'm the gonna trips to Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. Walmart. <laughs> I'll hold on to that for ages. Yeah. Okay. And you, Serena? I think again community. Community. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm going to that's the best it. part. 10 yeah, out of 10. yeah. Yes. The community here has been awesome. Okay. Um, especially being a leader has really helped me cultivate even more community um, mm. than I had in the mm. past. And just like Lucas, I came into college thinking, oh, it's just four years. Like, what am I gonna get out of this apart yeah. from academics? Um, but I've really formed a lot of strong friendships here that I feel like I'm gonna carry into. Um, later years good of course so mm -hmm. before yeah. we go before we finish this um is there anything else that you guys would like to include to maybe talk about now that you have a space here mm. well i'm running for student body president <laughs> 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 i don't know if that helps but uh i would also say i just want to leave laterno better than i came into i love laterno already mm -hmm. but i think there's always work to be done mm -hmm. especially for understanding the international community as well mm -hmm. So I hope that maybe by the time we leave, inter people will be more, I don't want to say challenged, but they want to interact with the international community more because there's so much that we can offer culturally f to each other, learn from each other. Absolutely. So I would definitely say that. Yeah. What about you too? That's awesome. I would <laughs> agree to that, though, okay. because a lot, I know a lot of people are like, oh, the international students are kind of like closed off. They have their own group mm -hmm. and they... I know a lot of people who want to get to know them more, but they don't know how to approach that. Mm -hmm. So like creating spaces where people can come together and just hang out, have food or um, go to events together where the international students can feel heard, I think would be super important. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, going off of that as well, I feel, I feel like there kind of needs to be more integration sometimes because the international students do feel a lot more closed off yeah. um, and I felt that way myself too like how do mm. I interact with the people here because um, I feel more comfortable with the international students but I also want to get people get to know people here mm -hmm. um, and I think this is awesome what you guys are doing here getting you know international students voices Thank heard um, and I think I think just like Lucas said um, where if, if international students feel more heard if they feel like they're being connected to that that would go a long way yeah, yeah. i can agree with everything you guys just said so yeah. thank you so much for coming by today and it's been such a pleasure to see you even for just a few minutes and just get to talk to you so thank you so much guys thank you, thank you for thank having you so us much. it was yeah. awesome